guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new limited edition Nike Hypervenom Phantom 2 in the Neymar Jordan brand collaboration colorway. Now as you guys can see it does come in a special kind of Jordan brand sneaker inspired box. It's got a black lid with the grey and black cement print for the bottom and then of course you do have the Neymar Jumpman logo collaboration logo that you'll find consistent across this entire pack right there on top of the lid. Open up the box and on the inside it is red in color which is a nice little extra detail. They do include some extras with the shoes. The first is this little tag that lets you know that the graphic printed on the bottom of the sole plate will wear off over time. Something we'll talk about more a little bit later in the video. They include this little hang tag which again kind of pays tribute to the retro sneaker releases from Jordan brand where they normally would include a hang tag like this normally about twice the size as this one it's pretty small uh, but it's clear in color has the orange coloring on there as well and then you have the Neymar Jumpman logo in the middle which again kind of a cool little extra. Uh, they also include as an extra something that you can't really wear with the shoes nor would I wear the hang tag. These guys right here if you are familiar with Jordan brand sneakers more specifically the Jordan 5 you probably know what these are. These are lace locks that you would normally get with a pair of Jordan 5 sneakers. Again you wouldn't really wear them with the sneakers at least I don't personally and you wouldn't definitely want to wear these with the actual uh, soccer cleats that I have right here in this box but they do include them as a little extra because the inspiration for this particular colorway is actually the Jordan 5. There is also a Neymar colorway of the Jordan 5 that released alongside these. I didn't manage to get a pair but I'm still working on getting some so if I do get some I will make a video and put it on the channel. Along with all those extras they do include a string bag as well. The string bag is grey in colour with the black cement print which is really cool. It does have the red strings the Neymar Jordan brand logo there on the front and on the back you'll find this little black and red rectangle just naming all the different brands as part of this collaboration or I guess the names as part of this uh, collaboration because Nike and Jordan brand for those that don't know are the same company. So other than that inside the box they do include the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what is a very very interesting pack, uh, a collection if you will where Nike has used the Neymar name or Neymar himself and collaborated with Jordan brand which is predominantly a basketball company at this point in time. For those that don't know about Jordan brand which I'm not sure how many people actually exist that don't know what Jordan brand is. It is the brand that Nike made for Michael Jordan who is not a basketball player anymore but he is widely regarded as the best basketball player of all time and even if you don't know anything about basketball you've probably seen that logo right here in red the iconic Jumpman which is featured on the heel of this Hypervenom Phantom 2 which is pretty cool. Obviously the graphics are a little bit different, the general look of the shoe is a little bit different and it does have some inspiration from both Neymar as well as classic Jordan brand uh, models, more specifically the Jordan 5 when you're talking about this particular shoe. So really interesting collaboration, I'm going to be sharing my opinions on that throughout this entire video. In this video though we are going to go, you know, be going over all of the details uh, on this particular collaboration shoe it's really really interesting and there are so many little hidden details they don't really notice until you have the shoes in person. Uh, but nonetheless if you are interested in learning more please stick around and watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself the retail price on the Phantom 2 was $325 so $50 more than a standard colorway of the Phantom 2. There was also a finish as well as a Proximo indoor model available in this colorway but they were all only available for a couple of days and they've since been pulled down on every single website including Nike's own where they were being sold. I'm not sure if they're going to be available again or if it was just a limited time thing. I assume that is the case. So if you are interested in getting a pair at this point unfortunately no stores have them. eBay would be your best bet. Just be careful resellers will try to sell them for far above the retail price which was already pretty expensive. So unless you really really want these I wouldn't recommend paying too much over the normal retail price. With that said let's get right into the review. To start things off let's take a closer look at the colorway and all the details on this particular Phantom 2. Now if you're familiar with what Nike has done recently with the release of the Spark Brilliance Phantom 2 and Finish 
Uh, this obviously does not have the same upper as that particular shoe where they reverted back to the original Nike skin upper found on the Phantom 1. This has the upper that we originally saw on the Phantom 2 minus all the texturing that I believe the only reason they got rid of the texturing is just to add to the simplicity of the design. It's ultimately a shoe that is designed to kind of be more of a limited edition thing. It's still a very capable performing variation of the Hypervenom Phantom 2, but the look was especially important with this colorway being that it is a Jordan brand collaboration. As to why it doesn't have the original Nike skin upper like the Spark Brilliance pack colorway, honestly, I do not have an answer to that question. That's something you'd have to ask Nike and you're probably not gonna get an answer out of them. So the shoe itself does feature a predominantly black upper as you guys can see. Uh, what's noticeably absent here is the standard design you'd find running through the heel and midfoot area on the lateral side that we've seen on pretty much every other colorway of the Phantom 2 or this current generation of Hypervenom, I should say. Instead, like I mentioned earlier, the inspiration for this particular colorway is the Jordan 5, um, which is a shoe that originally came out in 1990. So what you're going to find are several elements throughout this shoe that kind of represent the Jordan 5 in the form of a Hypervenom Phantom. So what you have here are these little, uh, what are referred to as the flames on a Jordan 5 uh, in the form of these little spikes. Um, and then of course it's filled in gray with the cement print, which is kind of a uh, a print that you're going to find a lot throughout Jordan brand shoes in general. It's something that they kind of made famous as far as I know. You're also going to find some of those flames on the medial side, but just a little bit smaller. But the placement is very similar to what you would actually find on a Jordan 5 sneaker, which is kind of cool. You have the Hypervenom logo there in red. Um, and then as an inspiration to another kind of signature feature of the Jordan 5, you have a 3M reflective tongue because this shoe isn't uh, 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 gonna have a, a tongue. It's, it's a, it's a mid-cut shoe from Nike, so they can't actually make the fly knit part reflective. They implemented a reflective 3M material for the actual Nike swoosh on the front, which again, kind of a cool little detail. So this reflects the light. Uh, you guys probably noticed it in the thumbnail where it is particularly bright. It, when it reflects light, it almost kind of looks like a bright white color. Um, but that is again, kind of paying tribute to the 3M tongue that you would normally find on a Jordan 5. You have the Nike skin and the ACC branding in printed uh, silver. This is not actually reflective despite it looking pretty similar to the actual Nike swoosh. The laces are black, um, black in the actual fly knit. Uh, the, when it stretches out across the top of the foot, as well as here on the collar, it does reveal a little bit of red, which you also find at the edge of the collar itself. And then moving on to the heel area, you'll notice that it doesn't have the standard Nike swoosh um, like you would normally find on a Phantom 2. Instead, you find some embroidery. Again, something you would normally find on Jordan 5. On the right shoe, you have number 23, which was obviously Michael Jordan's number. And on the left shoe, you have the number 10, which is Neymar's number when he plays for Brazil. What I thought was kind of a cool little detail is that the font is actually a little bit different. This is kind of the classic Jordan brand 23 font, where this is more of a soccer style font, something you would actually find on a Brazil jersey. So a little bit different, but something that, that I thought was a cool little detail. And then for me, probably the coolest aspect of this particular colorway is just having the Jumpman logo there on the heel in red. It's actually kind of like a rubberized material um, that ra is raised off the shoe. Very, very high quality. And again, it's just a really cool detail that honestly I would never think to find on a soccer shoe. This is not something that I think anybody expected from Nike or Jordan brand. Uh, but again, something that I hope we see more of in the future, because this is just a really cool thing. Yes, it's super expensive. It's not entirely necessary, but it's something that's cool to see. And it, it got people a little bit excited about kind of Jordan brand and Neymar and the Nike soccer department collaborating with each other, which again, something that I don't think anybody could have predicted. As far as the bottom of the shoe is concerned, you will find that it does have uh, a gray coloring, but it also has kind of a yellowish tinge to it, if that makes any sense. Uh, and then it does have the cement print. So the cement print printed in black right here, not the part on the upper, just the part on the sole plate. Those little black dots are painted on the very surface. So over time it will wear off, like I mentioned with that tag uh, shown at the start of the video. But if it's anything like the other kind of printed patterns that you find on other colorways of the Phantom 2, it won't actually wear off all that quickly. So for those of you guys that bought this shoe and intend on wearing it, 
I'm not something that I would be too concerned about as far as I just wearing off too quickly. The studs are translucent. And then of course, peeking through that translucent sole plate, you do have the red Jumpman logo on the bottom in the middle of the forefoot, which again, is kind of a cool little extra detail. The final little detail that you don't really see or I haven't seen in any of the press releases is the insole, which is really neat as well. It's gray in color with the cement print graphic. And then again, you do have the Neymar Jumpman logo right there on the heel. And it's just a standard Hypervenom Phantom 2 insole uh, made from that kind of ortholite material. So that's pretty much it as far as the colorway and all the details go. Let me know what you guys think of the look of this shoe down below in the comment section. Do you like how they look? Why or why not? And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, despite this being a limited edition colorway, it is just still a regular Hypervenom Phantom 2 minus the texturing on the upper. So as a performance product, this is a very, very capable piece of footwear. So like I mentioned at the start of this video, this does not feature the same revamped original Nike skin upper from the Phantom 1 that we saw in the most recent Spark Brilliance pack. This is the original Phantom 2 Nike skin upper minus the texturing. So because it doesn't have that extra layer that would normally have the texturing, this does come across as being a little bit thinner, which does add to the flexibility of the shoe ever so slightly, but it still has that firmer feel overall, both to the touch as well as when the shoes are on your feet. Uh, so they lack the softness of what you would get from that original style uh, Nike skin upper. With that being said, it still offers a thin touch on the ball, very pingy, no extra padding, uh, and a very secure sensation when the shoe is on your foot. Uh, if the material wasn't uh, kind of uh, rigid enough, it does have the added flywire cables running through the lateral and medial side of the shoe from the base of the sole into the lacing system. So when you slide these on, pull the laces tight, those cables as well as the upper hold your foot in place very, very securely and makes for what I think is probably the most responsive shoe or one of the most responsive shoes out there right now. Uh, very, very good in that regard as far as performance is concerned. The shoe does also feature ACC all conditions control, acting as your wet control element, something that's not really a make or break feature with any of Nike's products, but you will find it on all of their top end models. The laces are off centered, being pushed slightly to the outside, as you guys can see. Um, the tongue, is not a tongue, it's actually just a fly knit material that's elasticated, it's basically attached right here beyond the actual lace holes, and it is attached directly to the mid-cut dynamic fit collar as well. So this is elasticated, doesn't really offer any performance benefit, it's there mainly for looks. Um, and it does change up the fit in the heel area of the shoe, something I'll talk about more a little bit later in the video. But a lot of misconceptions here is that this offers some kind of ankle support or ankle protection. There's an extra layer of material, so if that counts as protection, then sure, I guess there is some there. But as far as ankle support is concerned, there's nothing really. Uh, it's not going to restrict ankle mobility in any way at all. Again, it's there mainly for looks and to change the feel of the shoe ever so slightly, but not something that is a performance advantage by any means. You have an internal plastic heel counter. The heel liner is a smooth synthetic leather with some padding back there. You guys got a quick look at the removable insole already. And then moving on to the sole plate, you do have the compressed nylon bottom, uh, or sorry, the glass nylon bottom that has some decent stiffness to it, but at the same time is flexible enough and does get more flexible as you wear them in. Uh, and then of course, the Hypervenom stud pattern, which is kind of what you get from the Mercurials but with conical studs. So because they are rounded in shape, but still have a fairly narrow profile, they dig into the ground quite well. So the amount of butt you get is actually pretty good, but their rounded shape does allow them to twist and pivot a little bit more easily than a bladed stud would. So when your foot is planted, you have that freedom, like I said, to kind of uh, maneuver a little bit more easily because your foot's not necessarily locked in the ground. So you sacrifice a little bit of grip for a little bit more of kind of uh, I guess rotation when your foot is planted, but again, it's a really good stud pattern. I haven't had any issues with it and it's not something that you'll find people often complain about when it comes to the Hypervenom line. So again, as a performance product, despite this looking different than all the other Hypervenoms with the upper and the graphics, it still is a Hypervenom Phantom 2 that is very, very usable. And if you did get your hands on a pair of these, you can absolutely wear them without worrying about anything. For the sake of the video, I thought I would weigh this particular colorway of the Hypervenom Phantom 2 in real time using the scale, just so you can see exactly what the weight is, despite some minor changes that they did make to the upper, for the sake of the colorway. So I'm gonna weigh this part for you today. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size nine US. I'm gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.5 ounces. 
the equivalent of 213 grams. So pretty much the same weight as every other colorway of the Hypervenom Phantom 2. So again, the changes they've made to the upper are very, very minimal and don't really impact the feel or performance of the shoe. So again, if you did get a pair of these and you wanna wear them, you absolutely can without worrying about anything at all. All right, so here is a look at the Phantom 2s on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of reflective gray SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of how these things fit and feel on feet, despite the texturing on the surface of the upper being a little bit different, this feels like the original variation of the Phantom 2. The upper is thin, but has a very firm feel on your foot when you pull the laces tight. Because of the tighter shape fit in general, the more, uh, I guess, slimmer profile of the shoe, the rigidity of the upper and those flywire cables, you have a very locked in sensation. There is some flexibility to the upper, but again, it does have a, a uh, a distinctive firmness about it that some people will love, some people will hate. It really depends on what your preferences are. But if you want that super locked in kind of structured feel, these provide that really, really nicely. As far as the overall um, fit of the shoe is concerned, it is a tighter fitting shoe. And this is an upper that will get more flexible over time. It never really feels soft, uh, but it's not necessarily something that will stretch all that much. And then of course, being that it is a mid cut model, the heel area, does take some getting used to, break them in slowly, take your time with them, and you shouldn't have too many issues in that regard. But width-wise, probably not the best option if you have wider feet. As far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9 US here, and the fit and length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair of these for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right guys, that is it for my review plus on feet video of the Neymar Jordan brand collaboration in the form of the Nike Hypervenom Phantom 2. If you guys are interested in more info on this shoe, be sure to check out the review page on my website. That'll be the very first link down below in the description of this video. On that page, you will find the high quality images of this exact pair that I took myself. That'll give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person. As far as getting a pair for yourself is concerned, like I mentioned at the start of the video, they've been pulled from every single online store. So eBay would be your best bet at this point uh, if you really, really do want a pair. Uh, if you have any questions at all regarding this shoe, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for watching.